But first, let's remind you how tonight's finalists got there. A spectacular Mediterranean setting for a final that promises Latin flamboyance with a dash of pure Geordie. Chris Waddle from Newcastle via Tottenham isn't just there to make up the numbers. In his adopted Marseille home, he's a superstar. His team started this season with a 5-1 win over Dinamo Tirana, and so there was no need for extravagance in Albania. Nil-nil. Meanwhile, eight months ago beside the Danube, Red Star Belgrade began their winding route to Bari. They drew their first game against Grasshoppers and then showed their real potential in Zurich where Darko Panchev's goal set them on the way to a 4-1 victory. Marseille next went to Poland and played poorly against Lech Poznan. However, Chris Waddle's goal meant they took a couple of away goals from a 3-2 defeat. But that was academic back in the Mediterranean warmth. Jean-Pierre Papin, who'd had a hat-trick against Tirana, began what turned into a rout. Vercroix claimed a hat-trick, Tigana scored, and finally, Basile Bouli made it 6-1 on the night. Red Star's opponents were Rangers, who found the weight of Britain's expectations too much to shoulder in Belgrade. Frozenetsky! Oh, it's there! It's 2-0! Graham Souness said that his team had never been so outplayed by foreign opponents. It was to be a purely academic second leg by the time Panchev sent the Rangers home 3-0 down. Panchev still. Vinic. How swiftly the game moves. Panchev! Three! Where's the marking? Where's Goff on that goal? Where are the others? Marseille v Milan, first leg at San Siro, where Abedi Pele, a Ghanaian-born Frenchman, performed magic for Waddle to set up Papa and a one-all result. In the second leg, that same threesome upset the fancied Italian club again. Waddle way over the far side. Little touch, might get him in. Good strike, go! They've put it together again, the three. Milan were on the way out but when the floodlights beat them to it, they tried to salvage a replay by walking off. All that earned them was a season's ban from Europe. Red Star, meanwhile, devoured Dinamo Dresden in front of 82,000 fans, beginning to believe this could be Belgrade's year. Vinic's goal was one of three without reply. And so, off to East Germany. The tackling's not very good here, but Savicevic has gone all the way, and what a superb goal! East Germany's growing hooligan problem meant that the last eight minutes of this quarter-final were not played, but Red Star's supremacy was already unchallengeable. Next, Marseille drew Spartak Moscow, the first leg away. Wazzle tried to set up Pelé! Who's This is Waddle, and that's looking for Pepper! French football has been, uh, from my point of view, I mean, it's total football. I'm, uh, I get a lot of the ball, the players, I, I've earned the respect of the other players, and they, they give me the ball as, as much as possible. Uh, uh, for me, I've, I've just got to keep that and uh, keep working as well. And. Uh, I mean, uh, my object obviously is I'm doing well here, but my object is to get uh, back in the England team. But every time I seem to get in the team, I get injured, I have a bang on the head. So um, I just got to keep playing well here and hopefully I can force my way back in the team. But caught in the press in England, everybody over 30 now is finished. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, it was Waddle's free kick that hit the post for Bowley to turn in and make it 2 1 and another overwhelming victory. Red Star had a tough one. Bayern Munich with the first leg away from home. But Savicevic, making it 2-1, gave them the perfect platform, only for some sloppy defending to betray them in Belgrade. 2-1 down, and a minute to go. Frozinetsky into the penalty area. 
laid in by Mihaljevic. And it's spun off the foot of the defender. It's an own goal. So two teams better equipped to attack than defend have lit the blue touch paper. All round Europe, there are expectations of fireworks. In the past, the Champions Cup final has sometimes proved a damp squib, but this surely is a night for the sparklers.